James Stewart, when I was growing up through the amateur days, Loretta Lynn's was always that guy that we looked at as like God on a dirt bike. He turned pro and you know I think it was what 2002 first years when he was pro on the KX125 he was just he was able to do stuff that nobody could do and all the way throughout his career he was able to do that but he was just able to do things that other people and us mere humans could only dream of thinking about James Bubba Stewart you know for him to be the challenger to some of the greats in our sport you know Chad Reed Ricky Carmichael I mean these are guys at the top of their game and it was just it was just an honor to witness it, you know? I mean, we look back and see these videos and they're great, but to know that some of these races, I had the privilege of being there and, whew, James Stewart, I mean, we all miss him, right? Stewart can do it again in the same spot. He gets the drive. He stands him up again. Back in the back of the pack, James Stewart goes down. Michael Brandis on the left-hand side is down and dead in the water. James Stewart is in dead last. Place. Who can forget when he laid down a win and he would just all of a sudden start doing that little sprinkler move? Is that, is that how he did it? Something like this, but boy, every time he did it, you're just like, it's so cool because it's James and he's just doing something no one else did. Like, thanks for teaching me the sprinkler, James. I know there's a lot of James Stewart fans out there. I'm certainly one, AJ is, the entire crew. So what we're doing is kind of paying uh, some homage to, to James Stewart and his legacy by doing a full-blown replica of his 04 race bike. We're here on the 259 machine. Spencer's got the awesome Roxanne, fully custom. KX125 board to a 144. Probably the most amazing bike I've ever ridden. Looking at my dream bike, which was 2004 James Stewart. Last year, anyone won a title. Coming from a Team Green family, I knew I wanted to build an old Chevy Trucks bike. So I set out to build that in over two years. We built you know, as close to a factory bike as I could make it, uh, but with my own little twist. And a few months ago, AJ reached out to me and said that he had a spot at Red Bull Straight Rhythm and wanted to see if he could use the bike for the weekend. So I thought, well, why don't we do just a really killer project? We'll bring him up here, you know, to Utah, get him out on the track, out on the bike, see how he likes it. But after watching AJ ride it today, the bike works and it flows and he felt comfortable on the first lap. So, you know, as soon as he gets used to a two-stroke again, I think it's going to light people up. She looked at me and this is what she said oh, There ain't no rest for the wicked Money ain't no one to I got bills to pay, I got bills to be There ain't nothing in this world for free I oh, know I can't say no, I can't hope that the I wish I could I oh, know there ain't no rest for the wicked Yeah. Uh -huh. 
You know there ain't no rest for the wicked Money don't grow on trees We got bills to pay We got track here Flying Iron Horse Ranch is, I'd have to say, along with the dirt bike, probably the nicest looking track that I've ever ridden. Um, I don't think Spencer and his father don't, they don't cut any corners. Welcome to our other home. This is the Flying Iron Horse Ranch. Something we started maybe 15 years ago. We moved to Utah. It's not the usual track. It's fully landscaped, built to the hilt. We make our own dirt. Uh, it's a little piece of heaven on earth. I was just out here playing this weekend, having a few of the kids come up. And try out some of the new dirt that we put on the track. Got a good mix of topsoil, mulch, and sand, and AJ come from back east to try out the 125 that Spencer's been working on. They're getting ready to uh, go down to the Red Bull straight rhythm. When we heard that Red Bull straight rhythm was doing a two-stroke only this year, we couldn't pass up the opportunity. So only KX125 out there, I think it'll be a pretty special opportunity, and uh, let's hope this thing can go in a straight line pretty fast. She got me loving in the morning Got me singing in the pouring rain Got me wrapped around a finger I'm perfect in the palm of your hand Message couldn't be much clearer Like a metaphor and make-believe If I'ma be honest, I can't help but stay Yeah, I'm losing my balance 